Now I want to show you two different ways to shape your bagel and it'll really be which one you prefer. So if we roll it as a really long, thin sausage, and I'm using quite a bit of force on this because it's cold out of the fridge. Okay, there you go, nice long sausage. And then we just twist that end together. Now the, the benefit of doing it this way is you get a really nice big hole in the middle. Um, and so it tends to stay a nice big hole after it's been proved, okay? So if you like a bagel that's got a, def a definite hole in, this is the way to do your bagel. The downside of doing it this way is that when we come to boil the bagels in the boiling water, quite often, because it's been formed with that seam, it comes apart when you're boiling, which is frustrating. So as you form the bagel, just be sure, table's given a good old creak at me roll, um, do your best to make a really good strong seal, you do. So I push it together, I also give it a little twist. Okay, and then I just pull out, it's always a little bit fatter in the middle where you've been rolling, and place that onto the tray. And the other way is just to make a hole in the middle of that ball of dough and then use your hands to stretch that dough out. Okay, so this is a lot easier, but you do get a slightly more irregular shape this way. And what tends to be happen is it will prove and close up. Okay, so do that again. It's big. Just keep pulling it around your fingers to make that definitive bagel shape. 